What's up guys and welcome back to Adventure Boat. My name is Kelly. We're here at Overland Expo PNW in Redmond, Oregon, bringing you the brand newest, best innovation in Overland technology. Stay tuned. All right guys, we're here at the Onyx Off-Road booth with Hunter. And Hunter, you guys have a new update to your app, which is allowing for color-coded trails to differentiate between uh, skill level, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you're ever going to a new area, for example, we're in uh, PNW right now from Missoula, Montana. But if you're ever traveling to a new area, you need trail information and you're kind of not sure the trails in the area, what your vehicle is capable of doing, um, there is color-coded trails now in the app. So we have green, blue, red, and black. You can click on the trail, get trail information. We have trail guides that are actually going out and collecting that information. So photos, trail description, difficulty rating, all of that. Um, so if you have a stock forerunner, stock vehicle, and you don't want to get stuck into a situation. I've been there before where I'm like free uh, willy out there just going down these trails. Um, the trail reports are a great way to not get into that type of situation as well. Because when things go bad, they go bad real quick. Yes. The other cool thing is there's user generated trail reports. So I encourage you guys, if you're an Onyx user, to leave trail reports. Um, so there's an obstruction on the trail snow you can leave a report leave a photo that way when other users are going out there to travel that trail it's a basically like a live report hunter so that's awesome what is like the next thing that onyx is doing because you guys are really kind of in my opinion the tip of the spear with all the trail navigation currently yeah so the other big update that just happened recently is the horizontal mode on the ipads so that was a big request um when you turn the iPad horizontal landscape mode, some of the features weren't working, so that was another big release. Some other things that are coming down the pipeline is uh, improvements in camping. So dispersed camping is going to be another big one. And then we're also working on a buddy system as well. Um, so that will be coming down the road. Um, nice. There's no timeline, but if you're out um, riding with your friends, especially in a desert, whatever, side-by-sides, kind of like um, Garmin and other companies do, they have that buddy system that will all just work off of GPS. So even if you don't sell service, you'll still be able to see your buddy on the map. That's awesome. Yeah. And what is Onyx Off-Road? Uh, what's the monthly subscription fee? So without the discounts, um, it is actually a yearly subscription fee. Okay. So premium, which doesn't include private land data, some other features inside the app, doesn't include Baja in Canada. That is $34.99. And then the Elite, um, which also includes Elite premium deals, is $99.99 for the year. Excellent. And where can people find those at? Um, you can just uh, download it on the App Store. Um, okay. Start a description all the way through there. Awesome. You guys all know Onyx, and they're only making it better. Hunter, thank you so much. Absolutely. I appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. Okay, guys, we're here at Midland Radio with Maddie. And Maddie, you guys just have a brand new handheld radio out. What do you got? Uh, this is the GXT67 Pro. Uh, we're calling it the handheld powerhouse because it's got everything that you could want and more. It's got five watts of power. It's repeater capable, which is new for Midland. It's our first repeater capable handheld. Uh, it's completely waterproof. It's got an IP67 rating, so you can really go crazy with this. It's got NOAA weather radio, and it's got really long uh, battery life. And how long are you, would you estimate? Depending on usage, of course. Uh, depending on usage, I think it's like 14 to 18 hours. That's impressive. Yeah, it is. It's, that's, that's a it's full a day on the trail. Up. Yes. On my trails anyway. Uh-huh. Absolutely. So this would basically, you could take place of like a base station radio in your rig, right? Um, I like not quite. I wouldn't go that far. Okay. I mean, it's five watts of power, which is the most power allowed by law for handhelds. Um, in a in-car unit, you're going to get a lot more power. You can get up to 50 watts, which we do have. Oh, wow. That's a lot. This pairs really well with that because you're going to get that range that you can't get with other handhelds. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So you've already covered the range, which was kind of what I was uh, alluding at with that. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing like a really cool belt clip because usually you get your radios and then they're mm -hmm. like, oh, great. And then you put it in your pocket and change the channel on you. Yeah, yeah. So the belt clip, it kind of comes off. And then you twist it on. Uh, it's easy. You can put that in like that. Very adaptable. Uh, we also have a car cradle that you can plug in like that. It charges it. And so that's another way to hold it. Okay. Yeah. And all Midland radios are GMRS, correct? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, GMRS. And what is the price point on this? Uh, this is one ninety nine. Okay, and where mm -hmm. can people find that at if they want to buy it? Uh, that would be MidlandUSA.com. Awesome. Maddie, mm -hmm. thank you so much for your time. I really yeah, appreciate it. absolutely. Thanks. You guys got to be sure to check these out. They're really nice, rugged radios. All right, guys, we're here at Red Arc with Mark. And Mark, you guys are launching a new, like a built-in, like all-in-one dual battery, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it's a go block. Oh, awesome. It's 100 amp hour lithium battery in a box, fully portable. Perfect. Take it anywhere. 
from car to to your forerunner to your uh, side by side to your boat to your camper trailer to your tent wherever you want to go you got power awesome and it's all in one so all the ports are built into the top there's no way to remove them yeah yes sir. No, okay they're, they're all inbuilt so we've got usb ports we've got anson connectors we've got 12 volt accessory sockets the whole lot's in there excellent and this is definitely not it's not a new idea in the industry but i'm sure red arc has put its reliability and built into it all the durability yeah, yeah look we're 100 100 percent designed and manufactured in adelaide south australia by our team okay all right so uh we can essentially run your fridge for four or five days and oh, wow. then recharge you in two hours okay and what kind of ports are we looking at on that okay so we have a dc to dc input okay and we have a maximum power point tracking solar regulator input okay okay so with those two combined essentially we can recharge a 100 amp hour battery with a 50 amp charge in two hours. Okay, and that would be through solar or your, is that alternator? It could be a combination of okay. both, but to get 50 amps out of solar, you're probably going to need about 1,000, 1,200 watts worth of solar. Yeah, it's a big panel. Yeah, it is. Okay, panel. and it is able to be wired as the alternator, so you can do that charging while driving? 100 yeah. Okay. You can wire it directly with your start battery, which is connected to your alternator, right. and that will work as a smart battery isolator, protecting okay. your start battery from over discharge, but also get the maximum amount of power out of your system right, while right. you're driving. Okay, and I can really see this like back of the forerunners, back of your Broncos, yeah. you know, that kind of, so it's got to be inside now is there any like ip rating to it to make it waterproof so if you had a pickup truck it gets it on the outside uh look it can handle a light shower okay i wouldn't take it through a a, a riverbank crossing yeah uh, but no, no monsoons in arizona no no <laughs> you don't have that problem here okay but uh look what there is there's a, an accessory called the go block power dock okay and this allows you to like permanently mount the unit semi-permanently mount the unit into right. your uh, into your four by four and then you can lift it out of its cradle and take it to your next vessel that's really cool. Yeah. Now, is there a way to expand that system? Can you add more amperage to it? You can't necessarily add more amp hour capacity, okay. but uh, I, th I think you'll probably find that you won't need to. Yeah, 100 amp hours is a pretty big And, and big with block. the speed to, to charge, I right. think uh, you, m most people find it'd be great. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, now there's one thing that I, we were talking about earlier that I just want to bring up is the Manager 30. Yeah. It is a staple in the overlanding industry. It yeah. is what everyone is using. And I was trying to think of a way to scale that down. Can yep. you think of a way to scale down the bulk of the functionality of a Manager 30 without yeah. the, you know, it's a steep price tag and there's yeah, just a sure. lot of, sure. you know, things to it. Okay, so like with the Go Block, let's think about the, the core ingredients here. Mm -hmm. It's our DC to DC charger, right. and it's our maximum power point tracking solar regulator. With those two combined into one unit, we look to our BC DC chargers okay. in the 25, the 40, and the 50 amp models. Depending on your battery capacity, and uh, your consumption, you know, like how much you're going to draw. Right. From there, we would add one of our BSEN 500s. That's our smart battery monitor. Okay. So that'll provide monitoring of the power in and out of your battery. And we convert that to what people can understand. And that's days and hours. Right. So yeah. we can provide you with how many days and hours you have remaining in your battery or how many hours it'll be until you're back to full again. Okay. And that would all be off of Bluetooth connection on Bluetooth your Bluetooth connection with your mobile device. Okay. Yeah. And everyone's got a smartphone, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Android or uh, or Apple. That's no problem. Perfect. Okay. And uh, the Go Block. Yeah. What is the price point on that? So the Go Block, when it hits the market, it's going to have a... Uh, a retail price of about $1,999. Okay, perfect. And the scaled down version of the the BCDC charger, and it'd just be that, that and a shunt, yes. and that would be the, the whole system? How yeah. much would that run? So if we look at our 25 amp uh, BCDC charger, that retails in the US for $465. Okay. We add that into with our uh, smart battery monitor, which retails for $189. Okay. It's a pretty affordable kit. Yeah, that seems right up my alley. So yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome. You guys got to be sure to check out Red Arc uh, and all of their offerings because they have everything and a name to stand up behind it. Mark, awesome. thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Okay, guys, I'm here with Marcus. And Marcus, you have a brand new light system that is, I think, going to revolutionize a lot of people who are intimidated by installing their own lights and accessories on their vehicle. What do you got? Yes, it will. So we are now launching the Kraken electrical system, okay. which is a complete end-to-end -end electrical integration system. So in the past, people have had the factory battery wiring, the factory vehicle wiring that they've had to contend with to start with, and then they have end-use devices that they want, a fridge, lights, air compressor. And the problem is that almost no one is a electrical master. People aren't good with wiring. 
Um, and we've all done some very sketchy wiring in our time, right? Are you looking at me right now? I, I'm looking at you. <laughs> yeah. And so what we have done is we have made a complete drop-in system for every chassis that is going to omit any of the user error that comes with wiring. So we are using some very good control systems, some brains out there like the Switch Pros and the Garmin as the control system, and we are providing the nervous system. So we have mounting, where we're going to put it into your chassis in a fixed location, and we have engineered wiring harnesses for every end-use device. So that's basically gonna take all the guesswork out of installing lights, compressors, fridges, the whole bit, right? That's right, Okay. that's right. So there's no more crimping, there's no more determining wire gauges, there's no more worrying about burning your truck to the ground because you screwed up, that's, everything is that's handled. That's a thing. Okay, yes. let me ask you this. So you have a system that you you know, you planned out your build, you got it done, and then you're like, hey, I switched from Baja lights to Dynamic. All the plugs are different. What, what does someone do in that scenario? Well, the beautiful thing about our system is that it is completely plug and play. So if you want to start from scratch or switch over between, let's say you switch from Baja Designs in uh, A-pillar lighting application to Diode Dynamics, all that you have to do is unplug the light that you have, remove them, unplug the harness from our control system, and then get the harness for us from us that is the correct one for your diode dynamics and you just plug it into the control and plug it into your lights and you're done. That's so simple. Yeah. Now vehicle specific, what vehicle ranges do you cover? So we're starting out with the current generation Ram 1500, 2500 and 3500 and we are uh, moving now into the Jeep JL and Gladiator and the Toyota Tacoma and Tundra. Oh, finally Tacoma, perfect. Yes. Okay and then price points, what are we looking at for a system that you guys build? So our system is split into a few segments. So we start out with the core system, which is the main hub of it and the mounting integration. That's gonna be $899. And then we also have a remote box, which is controlled through an umbilical cord. So you have one wiring harness to run to a remote box. So if you have a truck bed camper, or mm -hmm. you want to do any controlling or wiring in the rear of your vehicle, you'd use our remote box. And those are gonna come in at $799. Marcus, where can people find your guys' products at? So we've got a great website up. It's kraken-4x4.com. Awesome. If you guys are in the market for a turnkey, no-brainer wiring harness kit, this is definitely the best option I've seen here at Expo. Marcus, thank you so much. I appreciate thank your you time. Thank you very much, Kelly. It's great meeting you.